folks, everyone, welcome to my channel. David is here and tonight, it's pretty late in Germany. Uh, as I promised, I will uh, post this video about the very first steps in English because we do have a, already some versions in German, but now this is gonna be one video for the very first steps and watch it wisely and don't um, go too fast, take a lot of time. Um, by the way, the most important thing in playing the violin, I mean, Congratulations, you've chosen the violin, because the violin, I find, is uh, one of the most beautiful instruments, if you can play it uh, um, good, properly, but it also can be difficult. But this depends on the very first steps. If you do the first steps really right, and if you really learn how to hold and how to play the first notes correct and properly, then a lot of things later on will be easy. Okay, before I start with this, um, please check uh, all the other videos, uh, hopefully you'll like them. And if you do so, and if you like my channel and all the work I do here, uh, which is particularly just for all of you to improve you and to give you all the answers you have, uh, then yeah, just like, but also subscribe and share that channel. It would be really Beautiful. Okay, so now let's get started with this and um, let's go straight to first steps. Okay, step number one is how to stand. The standing is super important. The way you stand is has a straight, uh, direct Im impact, direct impact on your sound later on, and also on the technique abilities and a lot, a lot of things to do with the violin. So watch out that these first steps uh, you do right. So step number one, rule number one correct standing. Both feet should be same distance like your shoulder. So your shoulder is like this. Put the feet on the ground same distance like the shoulder. Okay. Step number two is take a stand like this. It's a good help. Uh, put it in front of you and watch out that the shoulders are really aiming the left and right corner of the stand. Important. Now, step number three, take the violin like this and check that the violin is aiming the left angle, the left part uh, or the left corner of the stand which is in front of you. So the left, the violin shouldn't be here or too much in front. It should be somewhere in between, okay? And now we come to step number four. At the beginning, Please hold the violin here. Don't hold it immediately there because this is already too much for the brain. Go step by step. Take your time. Hold the violin here. And now we come to step number five, which is the right hand and arm and probably the first sound you're going to produce. Now I will remove the violin to show you how to work with this. So how do we hold a bow? Simple. You take a bow, you can also, by the way, you can practice this also with a simple pencil or a pen, whatever, in the, in the car, in the bus, uh, outside, inside, doesn't matter. But you need to practice this because this, everything what we do now, needs to be completely in your blood. It needs to be like, like the breathing. So, watch out. Step number five, holding the bow. Relax your hand like this and turn it. Relax and turn. And you will see if you turn it, the thumb, just by nature, is falling somewhere around the second and the third finger, okay? Like between these fingers. You need to know this because a lot of things with the violin, the more, the more nature you do them, the better it will sound, the better a lot of things will progress and uh, improve later on. And now you relax it, you hold the bow, and you put the hand just here, like this. Boop, relaxed. And then, if you did this, put the fourth finger on the wood. It's extremely important for it later, but also for now, because the fourth finger is a key for a lot of success, believe me. And if you did the fourth finger here, now the first finger push a bit to the front and the thumb goes between the second and the third finger. And in between there, you grab the stick from beneath and it should look like this, okay? You see, my thumb is somewhere between the second and the third finger, and the rest of the fingers is like this, okay? I repeat, bow, hand, relax. 
Rah, 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 rah. Bop. There you go. Fourth finger round on the bow, first finger to the front, and thump between the second and the third finger. That's it. Okay? And now, if you did this, you put the bow, now we come to step number six. Put it on the strings. And important, the elbow, this one, down. Never there or there. It should be always down. Even later on, if you play on the G string, it should be down. Why do I say so? Because even if you hold everything on the violin, the feeling should be like you put weight on it, like it's hanging, okay? This is the idea behind. So the elbow should be down. And now we come to the most important point by playing the violin with the right arm, right hand, is watch out that the wrist, this one, is facing, if you're at that part of the bow, is facing your nose. So you play to the nose kind of like this. I mean, not obviously like this, but it's facing the nose. And if you play down bow, it changes from this to this. It should be this, but at the low point. Of course, I'm showing you there because the camera goes here. But if you play, it's important because if you don't do this, look what happens if I don't do this. If I straight it now. You see the bow is wrong. The bow should go always straight. The violin is the horizontal line and the bow should be perfectly the vertical line. And this line... ...should be always straight. That's why I'm saying, pretty simple, the wrist goes, if you go, if you go up bow, it goes to the nose, and if you go down bow, it's going to be almost a V, like a V, you know? So, up, down, up, down, okay? And check out that you play always in the middle, in the string, in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard. There you should play. Not there, not there. And therefore it's important for you all that you always check that the wrist goes to the nose and that way. So the bow is always straight, okay? So pretty simple. This was the step number five about the bow holding. I repeat everything again. Hold the bow, relax, put it here, fourth finger on the bow, first finger a bit to the front, between the second and third finger the thumb and the thumb by the way should be not round it should be a bit like this okay so don't hold the thumb like this it should be a bit like this yeah you really grab the bow there it's like this okay it's not like this not inside round like this okay and it will feel a bit strange at the beginning but you will get used to it and that's why I'm saying at the beginning don't grab the violin here hold it here and focus a hundred percent a thousand percent on this machine here on this hand on this arm because this is the most important in violin playing later on okay but now we go to point number six the left hand the left hand is pretty simple it's like a V but this way you have this and this line it's a bit like a V right and there you put the violin and you put it there and it's important, check, look, look at this. You see that there is this part, this is the head of the violin. And you put it right short before the head, it's there. And you put it down and if you do it right, the, the, the violin should be attached between this finger and this part of the hand, exactly there. And the hole, it should be a hole under the violin, under the fingerboard. So I put it down here. And there is a hole, I feel. And now watch out that the thumb is not grabbing the violin and struggling. Don't do that. Just keep it straight, okay? And now we come to the next point. If you hold it like this, again, don't put the fingers down, please. Just put it like this. Watch out that the hand wrist here is also not like this. It should be there. Not like this. This is wrong. This is right. A nice curve over here. And the fourth finger should be above the fingerboard. Don't go like holiday with the fourth finger, okay? The fourth finger should be really above the fingerboard. It doesn't matter where. And then again, you play. Yeah, 
you, sh you can also change the strings, it doesn't matter. And now we come to point number seven, which is the first notes grabbing. And now we start with the first finger, you put the first finger down, and if you do so, and if everything is right, not like this, like this, not like this, like this, force yourself to correct yourself, then the, if you put the first finger down, the fingernail should aim your face, okay? You put it down and it's aiming your face. And now you play the first finger. And then you release and you play the open string. And then you go for the second finger, you can go for the third finger and the fourth finger. But do everything super slow, okay? It's super important that you really take a lot of time because playing the violin and learning the violin and practicing the violin, it's a lot about being patient. And if you sometimes feel super fr frustrated and you just want to kick it and you want to throw that instrument because you're really fed up with this, don't do this. And just a little uh, um, advice here, you are on the right way. And it's also a school not only for music, the violin gonna be a school for yourself and for your patience, for your character, personality, a lot of things. So if you started this, keep on because you will have a lot of joy, but watch out the very first steps. So, by the way, the shoulder rest and the chin rest should be good high. Because some people, they got a high throat, but they take something small and then they hold the violin like this. It's not okay. You should hold the violin super natural. You put the violin down, you turn a bit and you hold it. There it is. Anything else is wrong. So let's get a little run through in a fast mode. Step number one, positioning, facing the stand with the shoulders, the feet distance like the shoulders. Step number two, the violin left corner of the stand. Step number three, grab it here. Step number four, relax on it, finger round, first finger and the thumb there. By the way, little trick, look, the bow is actually going through the middle of the fingers, through the middle. You hold the violin. Step number four, play and watch out that the elbow is down and the wrist is aiming your nose here or is from your nose into the aiming the ground. The wrist is aiming the nose here, and if you play down bow, it's aiming the ground. It's like a rope which goes this way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then you play. Once you're comfy with this, you go to the next step, number five. You put the violin here, yeah, between this and this points. It's attached with a hole under, and you put the first finger, the fingernail is aiming your face, and you play. And then you play also the second finger, third finger, whatever. So, and on the left hand, again, watch out that the wrist here is curved to the outside, not to the inside, to the outside, okay? These are the steps. This is all what you need to know for now. Uh, if you want to know about intonation uh, as a beginner, check the video. I have uh, I posted a video which is specifically about how to tune right. But uh, the most important here is if you do all these first steps, take a smartphone or your uh, laptop, whatever camera, and just record yourself because the video analyze is the best teacher for yourself. So you record yourself and you see immediately if everything what you do is how I explained. And the other thing what you can do is also if you have a huge mirror, watch in the mirror if you do all right, okay? But take a lot of time because this time you take right now will be really golden. It, was, it would be so, it's, it's a huge, huge precious for later on, okay? So take care of yourself and go practice. Bye.